Okay, welcome back. So last time we discussed about creating an application that will be my virtual shrink, so to say, my virtual psychologist. So um, let's have a look at exactly what it is that we are trying to create. So we're going to have um, a front end. We're going to have then this uh, Mr. Shrink service, which is what actually is provided as an analysis, um, which its job is really just to take the text and manage users, save text to the database, and ask other services to actually do the analysis. Then we have this text analytics service, which uses an array of services to actually get things moving. So for these services, we're going to use Watson services. Um, but let's begin with this part, which is connecting to the database, which should be fairly straightforward. Now, let's have a look. Let's begin. Um, first of all, we need to start talking to the database. So we definitely need to go and use a package for MongoDB. Um, MongoDB as... And can't remember which version it is, so I'm just going to use a star. Okay, so star means just go and use whatever. Whichever is the latest version. And... I'm going to do an MPMI just to make sure everything is installed. Um, so for the database, I'm using Atlas. So if you created your class, you should get to this stage. And you should be able to have the connect. And in here, you can find all the information to actually connect. So you can go to connect your application. And you can just go and copy this code. And this would work. Now. I'm just going to do that as well, just to verify that. So everything's fine. I'm going to start running it. So now I'm on um, server.js. Let's go into the server. I'm going to, just to keep it a little bit tidy, I'm going to say um, database area or database functions so that people know what they're looking at. Control V. And... I just need to pass username and password here, which I have defined already. Now, of course, it is not good practice to do this. Make sure that you don't leave your username and password and then upload it. I'm going to name which database. I'm going to connect to Mr. Shrink database, which I had previously created. And the collection is text. And let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to write just console.log. I'm just going to say connected. Okay, let's have a look. Saving. As you can see, it all went well. It's connected and then it closed the connection straight away. Now, this is kind of just an annoying thing. Um, is requiring it, this option um, because in the future it's going to get deprecated so I'm just going to give it to it. So this is an option, I'm just going to put it in. I'm going to save it and that should be fine. Okay, all good. No more issues. Now let's create an endpoint where that I'm going to use to actually get data from the user. So I'm going to, have to call this um, analyze I'm going to say uh, function request response and I'm going to query this so var text equal um, request dot query dot text because I'm going to pass a parameter called text and then I'm um, going to just verify that that is indeed what it's meant to be. And then just send something back to the user. Just going to say, um, there you go, thank you. Okay, let's just verify that this works. I'm going to use Postman. So I'm going to send it to the local host. The endpoint is analyze. And this is the parameter, so you can change the parameters here. Alex, um, there you go, Sunday. 
send and yeah I press it twice so that came up twice so we know that this one works now let's start putting stuff onto the database itself now to do that I don't want to keep connecting it all the time so I'm gonna modify this a little bit and I actually have it done already so I'm just gonna copy that And I forgot one line. Okay. So what I did here is, first of all, I'm not closing the connection. That is the first thing. And I'm just initializing the collection outside of the scope of the connect. This way it's going to be available to everybody else who wants to use it. So it connects and initializes that um, collection object. So potentially I can use uh, one of each of these objects to create um, more handlers for one for each collection that I want to use or one for each database. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Now we need a function to actually go and do something with it. I'm going to call it add document equal function and to this function, I'm going to uh, pass a document. Now, I'm going to pass a text, so I need to do some um, rearrangement, just a little tiny bit. Um, so I'm going to call this, I'm going to create a new document, a new object called document. And in this document, I'm going to have something called an object called content. And in this content, I'm going to put doc. And that's because doc here comes in as a string. So I can't pass the string directly to the database. I need to put it inside an object. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, so that's fine. And then I'm going to do collection. Text dot insert. I'm going to do insert one because it's a proper way of doing it. And this is I'm going to just insert the document itself. If you're wondering why I'm making so many mistakes, it's because I'm using my um, laptop, which I generally never use, instead of my keyboard. Um, all good, so that's been inserted. Now, you can do all sort of things like um, send some message back to the user as well, saying, hey, your message has been inserted. Um, but for now, we we'll just keep it as it is. So, Control Save. Let's try to, uh, we're missing, well, we're not calling that yet, so then we need to go here and we actually want to send that text up into the database. So that was the collection text. Uh, no, we created a whole function for it. Add document text. So just to go through what's happening here. We created an endpoint which takes the text, it extracts it from the request, and then it passes it onto this function, which is the add document function. The document function will put the text, which is a string, inside an object, and then it will use the collection um, handler to insert uh, that document inside the database. So. Let's go test it out with Postman, uh, Alex Sunday. I'm gonna all good on this side, all good on this side. Let's go and have a look at MongoDB going through MongoDB. Um, um, what is it called this MongoDB Compass, which is the UI for keeping track of your database. If you want to look at it this way instead of using the uh, line interface, and let's have a look. Oh, good, done. It's been inserted. So I leave it to you to explore how to retrieve data. The first thing is go and look at the documentation. Documentation is imperative for any developer, uh, but this is the first step. The next part will be to create text analytics, and that's more uh, challenging because it will require a bit more stuff to it. So see you soon. Bye.